Bex, a defeat at the weekend against Blackburn. What were your thoughts on the game? Um, I think we could take the positives out of the game. Uh, we had a lot of chances. I think if we didn't create the chances we created, then I'd have been worried. But we had a lot of chances. Unfortunately, they had like one big chance and took it. But I think we had a I think we had a good game. We played the ball well. We moved the ball well. So I think we're taking the positives out of that game, although it was a loss and we didn't want to start that way. Um, yeah, we're just taking the positives out of it. You mentioned it being quite a positive performance, sort of quite attacking as well. The chances you did create weren't capitalised. Do you think that's something that you can take into this week, making sure that you, there, is the, there is enough bodies in the box? Because that was something that, you know, sat as a spectator, that there, there wasn't enough bodies in the boxes yeah. with chances. Yeah, obviously we've watched back through it and that's a big thing. We need to get more people in the box, but the chances that we're creating were big chances. We we should have scored we we should have scored loads. If I'm being honest, two or three we could have finished and obviously we'll take that on as a team and work on that in training this week and look forward to the Durham game and hopefully put that right. There was a big chance from sixteen year old Shinamia at the weekend. Is she going to be quite key for this weekend? Yeah, I think Sinead's been great for us. She's a young player, she brings speed. Um, so she's a great outlet to have in the team, to put her in behind and get on. And her shot was great and she provided that throughout the game. She put some good crosses in. So I think she's a key player within our team, yeah. Also, Charlie Doherty, she came on, she was had quite the impact. We're looking to see her at Bramall Lane again this weekend. Yeah, um, Charlie. Charlie's a great player. She's got a great technique. Um, obviously, brought her on at wing back, and um, she offered us something different with a bit of pace and width. Um, hopefully, she can bring the same at the weekend. How key is it for people to get behind now the women's game after the Euros to help the game grow even more? I think it's really important that we push on from the Euros be that fans, players, everyone involved in the game. Because um, that was the platform and it showed what women's football is, what women footballers can do. So I think, I think it's a big, big thing that we push on from that. And obviously we've got the game at Bramall Lane, we've got all our games at Bramall Lane this season. Hopefully we can get more fans into the ground. Um, on the back of the Euros, you saw the big crowds that they, were, that they had there. So hopefully we can get that towards our games. You mentioned you know it being quite a hot spot for women's football over the summer. What would you say to the fans that you know got behind the women's Euros at the lane and are thinking of coming down this season? I think you'll see a similar thing that the Lionesses produced. They showed attacking football, and we'll do the same thing. We want to be exciting. We want to like show what we can what we can do. Um, so hopefully the fans will be excited and hopefully they come watch. What are your personal hopes and expectations for the season ahead? Um, personally, last season I had a lot of injuries, so I want to, um, I want to push on this season, uh, be a part of the team a lot more. I want to be a key player in the team, but as a team, I want us to be within the top four. I want us to push on. Although we're a part-time team, I think we've got some great players and if we work hard and and do what we need to do, hopefully we can get into the top four. You mentioned just then about obviously pushing on to try and get to top four, but being a part-time team, you are one of the very few clubs left in this league being yeah. part-time. Do you think that could have a possible impact on the results that you know you are going to get? I mean, obviously the full-time players are going to be a lot fit are stronger because they have that extra time in the week like we're not in all the time we have people that work all day and then they come into training at night so but I don't think it's going to affect us I think that the work that we do we get the most out of what we do within the week although we have like free training sessions um, I think we make the most of it and I think we'll because we're a part-time team it doesn't mean that we can't do as well as the other teams obviously you are playing at Bramall Lane this season is this a huge opportunity to show people just what Sheffield United women can produce to, you know, possibly get an investment to make it full time? Yeah, I think we're going to show just exactly what we can do. We're a great team, like I said, and 
Um, with it being at Bramall Lane and it not being at Chesterfield, it, it's a lot different. Now we're at home, actually at home in Sheffield, um, we can show to local people that we are great footballers, we're a great team. Um, so yeah, just I think it's all positive for me. I think you'll see this season that we're going to work a lot harder to to be up there. I spoke to Ellie Wilson and she said that she feels like it's home now. Yeah. Do you get that kind of feeling as well? Yeah, I've I've got that buzz. I've got a fire in my belly because Bramall Lane is such like an historic ground. Every time we played there, it, like. The atmosphere is just a lot different. Being at Chesterfield, it's not like it's Chesterfield. It's a good ground, but it's not home. Bramall Lane's home to us, so every time we play there, it's a lot more exciting. Obviously, Sheffield United men playing on the Friday, the ladies playing on the Saturday. Big weekend of football for Blades fans. Can we expect to see quite an attacking performance? Yeah, I think we always have an attacking mindset. We're an attacking team. Um, we always look to play the ball through the lines. We don't try to force it. We just want to play good football, show good football. Um, I think against Durham, Durham are a strong team. Um, they've got consistency. They've had a similar team for years. So we know how they play. We know how to um, get past them. We know how to break their flaws. So I think it'll be a good game. Bramall Lane hosts Durham on Saturday. What can we expect from the Blades? Um, I think we can expect an attacking performance. Um, I think it'll be a tough game. Um, Durham have a lot of like a, a lot of consistency. Um, I think. Um, sorry. Do you think we're going to get like a reaction from Sunday's game? Yeah, I think we're going to get a big reaction from Sunday's game. Um, Obviously, we, we didn't want we didn't want a loss to start with. It's hard to start with a loss, but we've just got to bounce back. We've got to be positive. You did play Durham in a pre-season friendly. What do you know about your opponents? Um, that they're they're very strong, physical. Um, obviously, we played them pre-season. We got a three-nil win against them last season and a one-all draw. Um, they're always in and about up the top. Um, and they have been for, for years, so I just think we just need to be strong against them, show our physicality just as much as they will. How key is it going to be having the fans down at Bramall Lane on Saturday? It's going to be really key. I hope we get a lot of fans down to the game because they will just boost us. They will they'll push us on to get the win that we want to get.